Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I am at the lawyer's office closing on the renovation single family deal. If you haven't seen that video, click the link up here in the top of the video and you can go watch that. I do a quick walkthrough of it and I do the analysis on it to show you what I expect for uh, cash flow and cash on cash return. Uh, today is closing day. I've got my check right here. And like I said, I'm at the attorney's office here just waiting for my time slot. And then we're gonna head over to the house, do a more in-depth look at all the stuff that I'm gonna repair in there. So you have a better idea what's going on. And then in future videos, I will be showing, you know, the ongoing repairs and how I do all those and just show you the process of what it takes to get a house back up to snuff and rent it out and all that. All right, we just left the closing office and now we're coming up here to the house. Let's take a look-see. First thing we gotta do in this house is change out the locks. There's three sets of locks for three doors. Uh, they aren't cheap locks. We do the master key system lock so I think for the three sets, it was 190 some dollars, um, but they work on a master key system. So one key does all of my rentals and then each lock has its own separate key for the tenants. I take them back to the local hardware store and they will rekey them for free when a tenant moves out. All right, let's take a look around outside here. We've got our mobile uh, hardware store here parked and ready to go. So out here they put a new foundation on this side of the house, as you can see here. Also this door needs to be replaced obviously. Uh, so here's the foundation. It's new. It doesn't look great, but it's new. Maybe they had a Freemason do it. But uh, anyway. Looks like we might have a gutter issue up here as well. That's dripping here. But, and that's the only thing outside other than the driveway here, which you can't see because I'm parked on it. But we're gonna put a two inch top coat on the driveway. Just get rid of this pool. Pool is a big no-no in the rental game. Banks nor insurance will allow it, so got this little handy dandy pump pumping it out here and then we're just gonna list it on Facebook for free and then we're gonna rail off the rest of this and probably give a good paint job welcome home all right so the first thing we're gonna be doing in here is replacing this banister here as you can see that broke off uh, we need a railing there for obvious reasons making it safe so next this flooring Everything but the kitchen. The kitchen has tile here. So we're gonna leave that. There is a couple places like right here that cracked, which will need to be fixed. Other than that, it's actually in very good condition. As you can see, we got some issues with this flooring here and it's just cheap uh, laminate flooring. So we're gonna be taking this stuff out and then this is actual hardwood. But as you can see here, it's got a bunch of scratches and, you know, this whole, this whole thing would need to be refinished, which we could do, but that would cost quite a bit more money than just putting click lock down and being done with it. And the click lock is going to be a lot more durable, especially the, the kind we use. It's got a 22 mil wear layer and it's actually made of gypsum rock inside of it. And it's, it's very durable. So we're going to be replacing, like I said, from the kitchen, 
this floor and then running the floor out to the living room into the dining room and possibly into this what's going to be a half bath and laundry room because this floor is separating at the seam here we'll see if we can salvage this if not we'll just run the flooring into here as well um, so let's back up here as you can see they whoever had this house before started to do some repairs so we'll finish that and paint this whole house is going to be painted actually it desperately needs it uh, in here like i mentioned we're going to do a it's already got some plumbing for what seems to be a half bath we just need to add toilet flange there the plumbing's there for the vanity it's not connected in the crawl space underneath though, so we will have to tie that in and tie in the sewer. Also over here, we're gonna put laundry. So we're gonna put a vent going out the wall here for the dryer. We are going to need a gas line or electric or maybe both. Then we're gonna need hot and cold water and a drain. And then we need the ceiling fixed and we're gonna get rid of this track light this isn't a studio in here so we don't need that we're just going to put some pot lights in um, as you can see this radiator is kind of messed up and that's actually because somebody stole the copper from the boiler right underneath this right underneath the space is a crawl space they got in there and they stole the inch and a quarter copper main and that went to that radiator and also to this radiator so we have to replace that copper in the basement. We actually have to replace the entire boiler, but also that copper main and the runoffs that go to both of these radiators. We did get $3,000 back at closing because that theft happened after we already signed the contract. It was actually just a few days before closing. So we did get a $3,000 uh, credit back at closing. So that definitely helps. In the kitchen, not too much needs to be done. We need to uh, just put some one buys to uh, fur this whole thing back so that we can put a, a back cover on the dishwasher. Right now, as you can see here, it sticks out a little bit too far to put a cover on it. So we're just gonna put some furring strips along this whole thing. And then we'll put some, uh, I don't know, Luan probably, or melamine board over this whole thing and that will cover up that because that looks pretty trashy uh, other than that we might do some rearranging of cabinets this is kind of a strange area here it's just a little tight uh, we might move this cabinet out of this corner and potentially my thoughts are move it over here take this cabinet out probably move that over here next to that one and then move move that long one over here to this corner because that's kind of some empty space and that'll open up that walkway there maybe take that silly thing there and put it over top of the fridge the basement like i said the boiler needs to be done and a couple other water lines that were also cut during that robbery but other than that the basement's good a lot of the work is upstairs here as you can see here, we've got just some trim that would need to go on. There's a lot of that kind of stuff. These hardwood floors, we're probably gonna keep. They're not in very bad condition. You know, there's some scratches, but we'll see. We'll see what it looks like here after we clean it up. But as you can see in this room, and you'll see in the other room, these walls are real bad. So we are going to tear these Tear all these walls out and re uh, put new sheetrock on, new paint here. Yeah, so this goes to the attic, which we don't usually let people access. So we're probably going to just, actually, we still want a closet. So probably what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a door here, lock it off, then they'll have a closet here. I'll go ahead and show you the other bedroom here that needs sh sheetrocking the other side of this wall and a bunch of this. 
So probably the easiest thing to do is we'll just take this entire wall out down to the studs and then just sheetrock both sides of it and be done with it. That'd be the easiest way. As you can see, this house does have all replacement vinyl windows, which is great. And then in the closet here, more sheetrock work. Not really sure what happened in here. It looks like, you know, people just punched the wall or kicked it or I don't know what they could have done to make it this bad, but you never know what people do. This is the third bedroom. This actually doesn't need any sheetrock work. So it must be whoever lived in this room was chill. We do have some moisture issues at the seams. But that's just a easy skim coat. Um, out here is a, just a balcony. Nothing we need to do out here. Now as we enter the bathroom here, we need to put a back on the shower here. And it looks like a doorknob. Code allows you to not have a exhaust fan if you have a window that can be opened. Uh, the tenants just need to use it. But this needs to be fixed. The back on the shower and just some cleaning up in here. Make sure this works. The water's not turned on yet. Well, it's turned on, but we don't have plumbing in the basement uh, all connected to turn it on yet. So once we get that, then we can test all this stuff. Make sure this all works. So that is an unknown right now. So that'll pretty much conclude this uh, tour video. This is gonna be the first video and probably a whole bunch of video series for this house since there's so much work to be done. I'll show you periodically some work we're doing on it and the progress along the way and as well as the renting process of this after we're done. And you'll get a full look from kind of start to finish from the previous video where we looked at it and we did the analysis to put in an offering to the closing table, to the first walkthrough here, and then the whole renovation of it and finding a tenant. So I hope you stick around on the channel. And with that, I'm gonna end this video. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Let me know if you like this kind of content because we've got a lot more houses that we're closing on and I can do the same thing. All right, thanks for watching, bye.